Thank you guys for having me. I am down in San Clemente, just chilling. I'm a U.S. snowboard slope style athlete. So, uh, yeah, just hoping I can get there. Like everyone else, kind of just fingers crossed until the first couple contests roll in, but just trying to hit the gym and get as ready as possible. My, uh, my training has been a little interesting this summer, a little different than the past, but uh, just have some tweaks and kinks from last season. So kind of just hitting the gym, trying to make sure my body's ready for another slam. If so, if it happens, you know, got to be ready for anything. So kind of just, yeah, hitting the gym mainly, waiting to hit the snow until I'm kind of personally confident that I am uh, able to fall and get back up again. So <laughs> just trying to get there. I grew up in Big Bear and uh, the jumps weren't the biggest, uh, biggest up there. So once I got around 10 or 12, we had to make the move up to Mammoth. But my dad was driving me a Mammoth to Southern California like every single weekend for three seasons in a row before they finally pulled the plug and ended up moving up there and living in a motorhome for a year to finally wait and like find a house that we could afford and got a house. So whole family, I kind of made that move just for me and my brother just so we could yeah snowboard more and can't thank them enough because yeah it made the difference like nine day because it's just such a nice community there and everybody's so so into the outdoors so it's it's like hard to stay inside you know having interesting eating habits but um i kind of just stick to cheeseburgers because it kind of just gives me the perfect amount of energy level throughout the day but um yeah i try to just kind of keep a nice level of that though if i eat too big of a cheeseburger i might be feeling slow too small you're not full enough so i don't know i just try to make sure i'm full and i know if i eat like a bad, like bad cheeseburger, like a McDonald's cheeseburger, I might not feel great, but it's like a good burger with some like nice bread or something, who knows, <laughs> but you kind of try to base it off of how I'm feeling. And I know the, the worse food I eat, the worse I'm going to feel. So I try to yeah, base it off of that. Yeah. It's definitely been a crazy year and a half. I will say that, but, um, yeah, a lot of downtime, which has been very nice to, uh, just kind of get organized and do whatever I want to do. Mentally, I feel very rested going into the season, which is super nice. But yeah, just having the time and like all the time in the world to be able to train for this upcoming year has been super nice. And it hasn't really affected my personal days too much because I just like surf, skate, snowboard type stuff, which is hasn't, hasn't really closed, <laughs> even though all this stuff's going on. So I've been lucky enough to kind of continue my daily routines and keep stuff going and yeah, just have a little extra time in my day.